Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in our Divi basic series of videos here we're going to continue on where we left off yesterday. Yesterday we sort of made this title section and showed how you could save it and reuse it. What we're going to do is yesterday we put in a bit of dynamic content which would cherry pick the page from the database right there. Today let's add some breadcrumbs and it'll do the same thing and just add it to our header section here. Again this is really easy to do so I'm going to go to our about page where I haven't put that in yet. and We're just going to modify our header content up here and add it over here. So let's enable the visual builder. The visual builder allows you to build everything on the front end, makes life very convenient indeed. If you've been watching any of my videos, you'll know that I've built hundreds of sites with the Divi theme. It keeps getting better and better and easier and easier to use with more features. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So this is what we had yesterday. Here's our section, the blue tag right there, and our row which is the green tab right here and our module itself with the dynamic content which is the black one and we want to keep that but when we put this row in we only put one column in it so it's a row with just one column in it I'm going to change that to a three column row by clicking on this little icon right here change column structure I'm going to turn it into a three column row so I want to move our existing content over to the middle one so I'm just going to grab it with this little cross and plop it in the middle there. The other thing I want to do because I really when when we got the breadcrumbs I want them to be over here way over on the right hand side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this row full width and to do that we go into the cog to edit the row and we'll go over to design and we'll go to sizing now they used to have a button that just said make row full width but uh, because of the f new flex they're using now they've done away with that. What we do is slide the width all the way up to 100% and you can either slide the max width up to as far as it'll go or just type in 100%. So whatever size of the screen it'll go full width so 100%. There we go. So we've now, as you can see, those have jumped across so we've got much more space. We're working with the whole span there instead of a boxed version in the middle. Great, so that's done. Let's just check that check mark. Now what we're simply going to do is exactly the same as what we've done here. In fact, we can copy this block if we want to and just put it over there, but I'll just create a new one. So I'm going to hit the plus, add new module. Simply going to go for a text module and all these grey modules you get as standard with the Divi theme. There it is. I don't want any of that dummy content so I'm going to select that, left click, drag and hit my delete button. What I do want is a bit of dynamic content which is this little disk icon right here. Just hit the plus and we can have page title, excerpt, etc, etc, etc. Page link, page author, etc etc all the way down. I'm going to have, go ahead and put a page link in and as you can see it's put a, an about us link in which is fine it's pretty much exactly the same as what we've got there but let's just close that up. If you hit the cog for that bit of dynamic content that we've got here it'll open up with your before and after. Now before it I'm just going to put the word home so it looks like a breadcrumb home space and I'm going to put a pipe and for you that people have asked me what the pipe is it's that little just above the enter key usually uh, just uh, shift uppercase of the uh, backspace right there it's on top of the backspace so that's where the pipe is for those of you who didn't know then I'm going to put another space in 
So now, I don't know if you can see that because I haven't coloured it yet. It says home, pipe and about us. It's like a breadcrumb. So I'm going to save that. If you wanted to put something after it, just do exactly the same right there. So I'm going to save the changes. I'm going to go to the design. I want my text to be white in colour. There we go. That's a bit more like it. And you can see that that, that link's blue. That actually works fine for me. I'll show you how you can change that in a moment. And I actually want my text all the way over the right. So I'm going to put it over there. And that's got it all the way over the right, but I don't want it squashed up against the right hand margin over there. I want a bit of gap there. So I'm just going to give it a bit of padding on the right hand side or both sides if I want. So we're on the design tab. Let's close up our text and go down to spacing. And here we've got padding left and right. And I just want a bit of padding on the right. I don't know, say 100 pixels. Yeah, that's about right. And so that's where I want it. As easy as that. Now let's save our changes. And that's done. OK, well, I mentioned well, let's just save our changes. It looks like the padding has changed a little bit, but it hasn't. When we put it back, when we save and exit the Visual Builder, you'll see that it's, it goes back to normal. So let's do that. Let's save. When we've got our check mark, exit the Visual Builder. And there we have it. It's normal size again. And we've got our links here. Now what I also want to do is when people click on that home, I want it to take them to the home page. About us is just going to refresh this page here, which really is not a, not a lot of use really. But if we give it a link to the home page, it'll take them to the home page. So I'm just going to copy that link here, copy link address, enable the visual builder again. And we'll just edit this with a little dark tab there, a little cog. Simply go to link and paste in my link. And you might notice that mine says local host here because I'm not online, I'm offline. And if anybody wants to build WordPress sites offline, take a look down below. I do a course on that and there's a huge discount for it if you want to do it. But it's really good for designing sites and working on WordPress sites without having to go on to live hosting. So let's save that. So that will now be linked. OK, for a bit of fun, let's just add another one here. Let's let's put a live date in there. So let's go down to text again. Get rid of that. Add some dynamic content. And let's have current date. There it is right there. And again, it's the wrong color and it's way squashed up against there. So again, I'm going to go into the text. I'm going to make it white in color. And I just want a bit of padding this time on the left hand side. Spacing, padding, left hand side, same amount. There we go. Save save our changes down here exit the visual builder and there we have it we've got our date up there and that will change dynamically every day and we've got our breadcrumbs here and then when I click on this it should take us to the home page there we go let's go back Now that's very easy to do and very handy and as like we did yesterday you can save this as a module in your library and just use it on every page just insert it that way so you don't have to build it every time and it'll automatically update the date the page name and the breadcrumb it'll say home and then whatever the page name is and if you've got a sub menu you can do the same thing with home pipe next level and then the page it'll work just as well. OK, so I mentioned about that link. That link color actually works fine for me. But if it doesn't work for you, there's a couple of ways we can change it. 
so if we go to our dashboard that link color is actually being dictated by our, our style settings if we go to our Divi and then theme customizer you can also go up to the top and get your theme customizer that way let's go to general settings go down to typography and down here you'll see body link color and that's what's dictating the color of that link on our breadcrumb there you can change it. I'm not going to change the color here but you can just change the color by clicking on it and selecting whatever color you want but I'm going to keep mine blue um, the other way of doing it we can do it with a bit of custom CSS it's pretty easy to do I know it's a bit of coding but it's you don't need to panic so what we'll do we'll enable our visual builder again and a link is an what they call an anchor tag so it's it, it's re referred to as a so what we'll do we'll go into our little module here we'll go over, over to advanced and we'll go to CSS ID and classes and we'll give it a class of BRD breadcrumbs we can call it what you like I'm just calling it that so I can remember it and the reason we're doing this we've now given that a name this little module it's got its own unique name that we can target okay so if I save that and exit I'm going to show you what an anchor tag is and exit the visual builder I'm using Google Chrome here it's great got the great inspector tools I believe Firefox does as well um, if I actually right click on that and hit inspect it will show us the actual code for it now there is our link and it's it's an a it's an href it's an anchor tag that's why we refer to it as a this is why I'm showing you this and the module itself if we look above you might notice as I'm highlighting as I'm rolling my mouse over these it's actually highlighting the thing that it is and we put gave it a class of BRD and if we roll across there there it is it's BRD for I made that short for breadcrumbs so we want to affect this change the color of this so what we do we target this which is a class when you target a class you just put a dot in front of it and say BRD class name and a the thing we want to target so let's go ahead and do that sounds more complicated when I'm trying to talk about it than it does when we actually do it let's go to our dashboard We've got our customizer up here let's close this down we can actually do it in the customizer there's two places you can do this if I go back to here to the start here's a tab that says additional CSS you can put it in here or if we get out of the customizer altogether if you go down to Divi theme options on the general tab which is the first tab scroll down to the bottom here's a custom CSS box and it's the same thing and this is for the whole site you can do this on each individual page but if you put it in this box it'll affect the whole site so if we're using this module in other pages which we would be because it's a title then every page will be affected by the CSS so we gave it the class of BRD for breadcrumbs let's just give it a title with CSS it's forward slash star star forward slash and in between just make a bit of a gap and put your title in really not necessarily for this because we've only got one piece of CSS but quite often I end up with hundreds of lines of CSS and if you put a title in it makes it much easier to find and if you put it between a forward slash and some stars like we have there it won't be read as code okay so our class was BRD for breadcrumbs as it's a class we need to put period or dot name of the class BRD 
the thing that we want to actually affect which is the a tag which I showed you just now open and close some curly brackets drop down give it a bit of space and all we need to do is tell it what color we want um, for argument's sake I'll say white so I'm gonna go color colon and give it its hex value which is hashtag FFF it's actually six F's but with CSS 3 if it's six all the same you just need to put three in so that's fine all I need to do is save that now and if we go back to our page when I refresh that should turn white there we go and because we've done it with custom CSS rather than doing it with the anchor tag in the customizer it's just affecting this module here nothing else so any other anchor tags on the site will still be that blue color so there you have it that is how to add some breadcrumbs to your header element and also a date if you want to and how to actually customize the link color with a bit of custom CSS or by using the theme customizer itself. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses and we've also got some premium courses down there with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.